One of the questions I think I've been getting asked the most recently is Caitlin, how do you curl your hair? And today I'm going to walk through the whole process explicitly from start to finish I'm going to show you how I get this look, these curls I mean, I don't think I do anything special compared to other people but there are a few little tricks that I incorporate into my hair curling routine that might help you out. So let's dive into today's video. This is what my hair looks like without anything. This is the morning after I wash it. I wash my hair at night and I only wash it every other day. The top layer is pretty straight but underneath I've got a lot of waviness happening and throughout the day I just find it gets bigger and bigger. I have a lot of hair and the more I do this, the bigger- look at this. This is just insane. I'm a lion. I'm gonna brush this out. The brush I'm currently using is this one I got from Winners. I think it's like a, a wet brush, tingle teaser type of thing. For products in the winter, I tend to put some sort of leave-in oil conditioner on my ends. Uh, this one that I'm gonna put in is from the Regis design line. It's called Enchanted Midnight Color Luxury Top Seal Protector Infused with Gem color shield. What a name. I put one pump in my hands, do a little hand action, and just brush it through. I'm using my viewfinder as a mirror today, so I'm gonna be looking a lot up there. <laughs> Let's talk styling products. The two styling products I use are a hair straightener and a curling wand. My hair straightener looks like this. It is from Ceramic, and it's a good hair straightener. I mean, it straightens my hair, so I have no complaints there. It is very old though, it even it creaks. Which to be fair, I think I've had this since elementary school, so I, it, it's looking a little rough, but it's, it's given me lots of use. The real star of the show though is my curling wand, and the one I use is this one from Sultra. It is a one inch curling wand. I really like using a curling wand versus a clamp situation. I just find this super easy to use. I also like the fact that the core just swivels so no matter where I'm going with it, it doesn't feel awkward in my hand. So now that we've covered all that, let's get into the tutorial. I really wanted to make sure I touched on the products that I use just because I know I'd get a lot of questions about them. I'll include links to anything that I can find in the description box below. On a typical day when I'm just going to class, I would just from here get started on curling because my hair is pretty straight at top up top so it, it's fine but when I really want to make my curls look super nice I'll run a hair straightener through it first it just makes everything look a little bit sleeker for events or if I know I'm going to be on film photographed so because I'm doing the the tutorial today I thought I'd go for the whole the whole shebang. And when I straighten my hair, I take the first layer of hair, just kind of like put my finger through there, grab whatever comes through, twist, separate, and I have this little tiny clip that I just kind of pin whoop, there. So we're gonna deal with this layer first. I could even do another layer because I have a lot of hair, but this is just a quick straighten. It's I'm not going to spend too much time on this step. I mean, straightening is a pretty simple concept. My hair isn't going to stay straight, so I'm really not worried about making it perfect. This is a quick side-by-side -side comparison. Quick straighten, no straighten. <laughs> Now it is ready to get curled, so I'm going to walk through how I use this without it turned on first. Basically, I just take a piece of hair, so this is just a one inch piece, and what I do is I make sure that I flatten the hair. So right now as I twist it, you can see it's, it's flat. I'm not bunching it, I'm not twirling it, I make sure it's flat by putting a finger like that. And then I would take my curling iron that would hypothetically be turned on. I take it and I put the, the hair on the curling iron so that each strand is hitting it. So I just like whoop, whoop. And I start in the middle and I keep it flat like that. And this technique of like flattening my hair has been something that I think has made my curls a lot prettier and I also think starting halfway down your hair, not up here, you don't want to start the curl up here or else you're going to look like a poodle. 
uh, which I did look like a poodle for many of the first few, I feel like years that I was using a curling iron. It looks a little bit more natural, I find too, throughout the day as it weighs down. It just looks a little bit more effortless, like you didn't do anything, but it still looks really nice. I don't, does that make sense? I'm gonna put my nasty heat protecting glove on. I split my hair down the middle and then I start at the back. Again, we flatten and we start around here and keep it flat against the barrel. So that little guy, that little piece dangling, um, I'm just gonna go get him in a few seconds. Okay, we hold, we hold, we hold. I'm not someone, one of those people that pins them. I feel like that's a really great method, but when I'm trying to do this quickly, I have no time for that. And then I would drop it and it, oh, look at you, little curl, looking so beautiful. And then we just keep on going. But the next curl, it's gonna be the exact same. However, instead of putting the barrel behind the hair and curling the hair away from the face, we're gonna curl it towards the face, this one. So we put the barrel at the front and curl it this way. Oh, we are losing pieces there. Come on, buddy. We lost the trooper. We hold it, we drop it, and it joins the other curl back there. And the next curl will be away from my face. I like switching the direction. I think, again, it keeps the curls a little bit more interesting uh, and natural looking. Once I start approaching the front of my face, I tend to keep the curls just going away from my face. But definitely in the back here, I like to switch. these pieces here and I'm just gonna let them sit while I do the other side this side is complete and that took I'm looking at my camera less than five minutes to do this side so the whole thing takes like definitely less than 10 minutes for me to do because once you do this a few times you just get the hang of it. So I could just leave it like this, but usually once my curls have cooled down a bit, so I'll wait like five minutes, I take my hands and I'll do the side first and I just loosely go through them just to break them apart. It makes them not look so put together. Like this side looks really put together. This one looks a little looser, a little bit more fun. I kind of go in claw mode <laughs> and be very light with it. And there you have that. That's pretty much all I do. I don't typically go in with hairspray unless it's a day that I know that I want them to last for a long time. But because I only wash my hair every other day, fine hairspray can get a little gross on day two. Sometimes on day two though, when I'm dealing with my hair being a little bit greasier, I'll go in with this Marc Anthony Volumizing Texture Spray. They had sent me like a PR package this was like a couple months ago uh, and this was one of the products in it and I really loved using it. It has caffeine in it which is a plus and I'll just spray the tiniest bit on my ends and scrunch it up just to add some texture which is what this is. So volumizing texture spray. It also smells really nice. <laughs> if you enjoyed today's video be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have any hair product recommendations or hair styling to tool recommendations. I will see you all very soon with a new video and until then bye guys. Bye.